I think this is gonna be really cool. This is something I've been wanting to do. I really wanna track the journey more on the Florida startup. Woo, let's do this. So week one's been crazy. We've been working on a million different things. We've been just really focused on meet people, meet people, meet people, expand, expand, expand. That's why you've heard me talk so much. Sorry about this goofy angle. That's why you've heard me talk so much about networking when I never really used to push that a ton because I dropped the ball on my first business on not networking enough and now seeing the upside, I'm upset that I did. You already knew we got a right for down here. We just picked up an Ego electric mower. We've got the uh, blowers in the garage and then we just got an Ego head shears too. Here's our chargers and our solar setup. And here's our rack for our Ego weed eater. Like this one a lot better because the head spins the right way. Someone brought that up to me. Uh, whoever that was, that was awesome for bringing that up. We did go out, I bought this, borrowed the money for it. Got a loan on a truck. Now I'm yeah. gonna go in the office to show you the rest of what we got going on. Oh, excuse me guys, excuse me, I'm about to finish here. My boys are doing some landscaping and different things. If you've watched any of my videos, you know I'm a huge fan of dry erase boards. Here's my, my light. What we've really accomplished that's awesome is I've connected with the same guy that used to do our landscape concrete edging before. I've also connected with a landscape company. Both of those companies can do tear outs, installs. I don't have a dump trailer. I don't have all the assets to do all the big projects. And I don't necessarily want to get them really quick when I can sell a bunch of work and start ramping up really, really quickly, sub to some really trusted people, plus be able to go there, make sure everything's right, go plant the plants, or start hiring team members so we've got the help to do these things. And as quickly as it's going, I thought it was going to be maybe a little bit slower but it's it's just flying we're going to be putting out new hiring ads it's all what's all kind of came from week one so we've got all the equipment that we kind of thought we needed yes it's nicer than low dollar stuff if i had to buy it all cash or if i had no money no credit i would still be able to accomplish the same thing i would just do it a much more budget friendly way made a bunch of contacts with different contractors to help us out and to work together because I want to band companies together to help blow our company up and blow their company up. And then I've went out and I've networked a ton and we've already got some accounts back. I did an estimate on one landscape project. He said his budget was 5,000. I told him it needs to be 5,000 to 10,000, but I'll do what I can. Got a verbal confirmation on a $2,000 landscape project and I have four to five landscape project estimates included with some mowing estimates next week and that's before week two starts that's week one that's what we got done we got a lot of things going and I'm, my goal is to really get this kicked off april 1st April first will be the true day where it's some scheduled work we were going out there and doing some things and really getting rock and roll we've also done two rounds of every door direct now and door hangers got moving got some work and uh, plan to just build the book of work, continue to market more and more and more, and uh, make more connections and sell stuff and grow this as quick as possible. I wanna do these weekly when we're growing Scooters Lawn Care Florida to show you what's happening, what's going on, and I wanna touch in and do these as much as possible. So we went through week two, and the goal has really jumped up. I thought 100,000 in sales was the goal. Now I see it needs to be much higher. I've already said it once that I want it to be a million in sales, and I wanna just shoot for the moon. But so two weeks in, we've made even more connections. We've sold our first $2,400 landscape job. Uh, we've got three lawns and like seven lawn estimates pending. I've got a landscape project that I believe is going to close tomorrow. It's a $6,700 landscape project. A meeting with a company that's going to help us. We're going to kick ideas off of each other because when I first came here, someone told me, you know, how hard it was to find employees and, and how much of a challenge it was going to be and how all the employees are legal, illegal and this and that. And there was someone that I've talked to before uh, that reached out to me and he's in the Naples area and he wants to get together. And he was kind of arguing this saying a lot of this isn't true. There's so much growth opportunity here. There's so many employees here. There's, you got to know where to look. You got to know what to do. And um, so another amazing resource. We're finding more and more resources. We found great people to subcontract to in multiple different areas. I've made connections with multiple different realtors and we're going to just keep pushing into all of the services. And it is so, so exciting that it's going so fast because what's really happening that I didn't expect to be this just heavy is the pure amount of estimates 
mowing estimate, mowing estimate, mowing estimate, landscape, 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 just over and on and on and so much. The volume is really, really heavy and it's so exciting because that just means more and more work. So I'm going to jump up those goals. I'm going to keep pushing. We keep you guys updated so you can kind of see if you're starting from scratch what it would be like if you did some marketing and got aggressive with it. And we could even do less marketing. I'd get more aggressive with like word of mouth, talking to people, networking style, like guerrilla marketing. Ready to rock and roll, ready to have an awesome 2021 in Illinois and Florida. Third week in Florida operating. It's been big. I wrote down five big goals I wanted to accomplish this week. First one was 8,000 in sales in Florida. We did it. Got it. Made it happen. Number two, connect with an irrigation guy to sub out irrigation work. Did it. Got it down. Finish my goal talks. This, I didn't quite kill, but I got almost all of it done. Goal talks are something we do in my business. I want to align my team's personal goals with their professional goals and how they can achieve them at Scooter's Lawn Care. And then flip a price objection on a Florida account. Got it. Killed it. Get my house rented. Got it. Killed it working on the signed agreement right now and then go on two dates with my wife that was my five goals i think it was actually ended up being six so i got almost all done and and did really well but this week has been huge because i really feel like the pressures of success like i, I so many times come on here and i am i've got a lot of energy i'm you know very good at looking at bad things right in the face and just dealing with it i'm scared all the time you know that's one of my things i i'm not superhuman I run a business. We've got three, three kids, a beautiful wife. You know, my dad lives with us now too. You know, we got a bigger home where we can do all that and have plenty of room for everybody. I got a lot of, I got a lot of pressure on me to succeed. I've got to feed this family. I've got to feed all the families that are fed from the business. You know, I mean, I, I'm not complaining. I got a lot of families tied to me that I'm providing for. And that's not like I'm, I'm a brag. And like I said, I'm not complaining because I wanted this, you know. There's a Kid Rock song that I love, Roll On, I can't remember, but basically in it, he talks about like the stars and the, or the fame and the success and the long, long working hours or whatever. And it's like, I'm not complaining because I wanted this shit. Not either, I'm not complaining, but it is a lot of pressure to have all these different things that rely on you to make them happen. And to know that like a lot of people have high expectations for me. A lot of people see me and they have super high expectations because of the type of person I am. And the people that know me have really high expectations of me. And then there's the people that view me and they want to see me fail because uh, I'm always going out there and doing a lot. People don't like people that do a lot because it, you know, not everyone just gets stoked off of other success. Successful people get stoked off of other people's success. But when people aren't going anywhere, they just get like it just kills them that other people are actually going out there and doing stuff. I think it's I think it's just that people don't like that they don't do anything and other people are. And since they are successful and these people don't want to do anything, grinds gears. That's a lot of what I've got on my mind right now because I'm feeling the pressure in week three to to ramp this up and make it happen. You know, I've already said I want to try to take this to a try. What a bullshit way to say it. I want to take this to a million in sales the first season. Initially, I had goals of, I don't know, I think it said 15,000 in May. And now I've stepped that up to like, I want 20,000 in April. $8,000 sold so far this week. Seven, eight, nine, we got almost half the goal in just projects so far. And we've still got three quarters of the month. So it's, we're there. Now we gotta produce the work. We gotta do other things. But in my mind, the, the week three, these things are happening and they're happening well. We got like 9,000 plus in projects sold, like I said. We've got six lawn care accounts already. And multiple other opportunities that are coming together different things that we're looking at. I've got a whole nother sector of landscape lighting and things that is just about to cut loose and it's it's gonna be stupid. Really, I'm, I'm facing some anxiety because of the sheer amount of things that are going on. Back home, here, you know, back home, we're having more sales than we've ever had. We're up 32%. 260 or 257,000 sold this time last year, and I'd sold 142,000. This year, we've got $353,000 in new sales, and I have, I think I sold 20 grand, and Jess has already killed over $200,000 in sales this year. She's just rocking it. But so there's all these things. And back home, we can't hire people fast enough. And I've realized that it's the starting things is really what I like the most. But I always view a business like a plane taking off, and it takes the right amount of air. In this case, it's work. 
this business needs the work to take off. And that's what we're getting. We're trying to get that wind under our sails. And we started to get a little bit of wind and I need just a little bit more air so it, the, the plane or the business can hold more people. Because now when my dad's doing this as kind of retirement and training, my dad's a workaholic, he's gonna do it forever, get off my ass. And then, uh, and then, and then I wanna add another person to the team. So I need more wind to hold up the sails to get this plane off the ground. As soon as that third person gets to the team and we keep the workflow busy and we keep projects going, I'm probably going to be getting like some kind of office and then we'll see when we can add a fourth person to the team and hopefully an office person down here and we're going to go really, really, really fast. That's that's my goals here. Week three, we had a lot of success. We nailed the 8,000 sales this week. We're pushing through into so many new things and we're seeing a ton of new opportunity. I've made now connections with other landscapers from Naples to here. I've been to so many networking events I can barely see straight. I think I've been to four this week. I've handed my card out to everyone I could possibly meet. I've talked and helped and done anything I could for anyone I could meet and it, it just really really worked on making connections, selling work and filling every day packed full of every single thing I can do to get the plane off the ground. So that's week three. There was a lot of wins. There was a lot of stress. All in all, it's all worth it. And I love taking on the challenge. I had to share that with you, all those things in my head. I've always explained it like a pinball machine up there. You know, it's like big shiny things all the time. Shiny idea, shiny idea, shiny idea. That's why I've got to like write down in my planner every time I have something new, I've got to write it over here and here's my day and all these different things because all these new ideas always pop up and it keeps me boinging around. That's why my conversations are all boinging around. Sometimes I'll just, oh, it'll go black and I'll forget where I'm at just because the next thought's already in. I got this bad problem of already getting onto the next thing before I finish the first thing. It's just really, really exciting time and it's a really exciting time to be growing this business, doing more and, and sharing it along the way and being very vulnerable about like if I'm scared because that's, that's what I was gonna say, I got off topic. I want you to all leave in the comments like what's bothering you right now, what's scaring you, what's challenging you, what are your problems because we've all got problems. I don't want anyone to ever look at me and think, hey, it's that guy that has that business that always comes on here, <laughs> Mr. Badass. I get scared too scared every day. I run as fast as I can because I'm scared. I told my dad the other day it was, uh, I'm just trying to outrun the monster, you know, all the time, outrun the monster. And uh, I just want to go really fast and I always have those fears, you know, I have fears. I've always had fears around money and all kinds of different things. That's why I got into self-development stuff so much because I wanted to cure those and I didn't want to cure those. I just wanted to look how to get around those so I could continue doing things like this. So that's week three. It's probably because I buzzed my head that so many extra ideas are coming out today and so many random thoughts. So leave that in the comments. What's scaring you? What's challenging you? Realize I'm no different. I have challenges. I have fears too. Everyone, kick ass. I hope you have a great day. I'll talk to you later. So here it is, week four. It's been an awesome week. We did a lot this week. We had 10X360 at the end. We met with clients. We shoved everything into two days and we really gained a lot of traction. In the weekend before, which I don't think this got on the last video, we closed our first big landscaping job. So I'm just really trying to get our feet wet, get rolling and get this thing up to speed. We closed a near $8,000 job. We also, during this past week, while we're doing the training and everything, we were able to close an additional 2,000 in sales from reoccurring services and some small landscape. It's been a monumental week because we did a little bit of selling and we got a little bit in in the two days, but the most important thing was the 10X360. This environment that you can go and be involved with and any self-improvement stuff is just it's amazing. I'm dedicated to investing in myself to make myself better because I want to learn faster. I don't want to be stuck in trying to make this little tiny business go. I want to go as fast as I can so I can give as much success to my family and the people around me. Otherwise, I just kind of feel like I'm cheating them. So this was a really high ticket event and I took two of my team members to it. It aligned their vision with my vision and let them see what our company was truly capable of, which to me, that's a $10 million location in Illinois, a 50 to $100 million location in Florida. And that's kind of just the beginning. This can go on, this can be multi-location, this can go forever and ever. But to hit on this training, it really hit on the four pillars of business, which is really a couple parts of your people, your financial analysis, and your marketing. It was just 
blow you away information. That's what is so awesome about seeing the value in, in self-improvement and things like this is most people don't want to spend, when you look at Growcom, you know, some people look at that and they're like 60 or 70 or $200 a month is crazy and it's expensive. Like a lot of people are stuck in that. And I see a $10,000 ticket to something with the view of if I could get hundred thousand two hundred thousand dollars of knowledge a million dollars of knowledge then what was the cost that's what self-improvement that's what learning from others and modeling and mimicking and mastering what others are doing to speed you up because there's no use to try to recreate the wheel all the time so this is what we're able to get we we're able to get a ton of amazing information from the 10x 360 we learned so much about financial analysis which happens to be one of my favorites but the bigger one is probably how much we learned about aligning your people i know everyone right now is fighting hiring they're thinking there's nobody to hire you see so much on these facebook groups it's sad you know we've struggled to get as many people as we want but we still don't have as many issues as people talk about and i think that's because you need to work on being a company that's worth working for. So we don't always get as many people as we want, but we do get a flow of new employees looking for jobs and we get good people and then we grow them up in our company. And I think that's a lot because we've, we've positioned our business as a place worth working for. And I get now when you look at smaller businesses, why would someone want to come and work for a business that is a three man business and that's all it's ever going to be or a two crew business. They don't ever have a possibility to make much money. They don't don't have ever have much improvement in their life and it makes it hard to want to work there versus a company that's growing and there's the position for the low totem pole person all the way up to the high paid person there's a position all the way across the board so it's not just a little operation where it feels like hey there's some guys on the rat wheel and the owner makes the most money it's a keep it small to keep it all type of mentality this is really what we learned is how much people are important and how much we need to align them. I pull all of this information. I spend 10,000, 20,000, hundreds of thousands of dollars on personal development. And I pour that in for small, small amount monthly for other people to learn on Growcom. And that's, that's the real tie-in and the value I'm committed to bringing to everyone so others can continue to grow, so others can continue to have the success my company's had. Because I see so many people beating their head against a wall and I just, I always wonder why. Like, I have struggles, I have challenges, but they're always new. It's always a new, bigger problem. That will burn you out. That will beat you down. That's what I got from this is you need new issues. You need new things. You need a building and growing company So you get those employees that want to come in and you create new problems So as a business owner you can stay fired up and have the desire to keep going out there and kicking ass with that being said week four was a total success job sold eight or nine thousand dollars worth of work a little bit of a little bit of other footwork and networking I was able to do in the first two days before I had to go to the Miami training and then three awesome days aligning my team learning with my team of how to go out and completely dominate and this just started with a thirty thousand dollar investment that now is going to turn into a bigger investment so I want everyone to tell me what you have done to invest in yourself to make you better because that's what I'm really interested in who's willing to invest in themselves to make themselves better or are you the victim are you the person who says none of that stuff works it's all a waste of money and you're the person saying all that and you're the person thinking I'm crazy and you run around with a really tiny business that's not going anywhere and you're not making any money and that's not cool either you should have a bunch of success so you can share it with everyone around you, you care about and the communities that you operate in thank you so much for watching this video I can't wait to talk to you soon Thank you.